my wish or the symbols or the beyond a treasure or a superhuman dream he bore the stamp of mighty memories and shed the grand usury on human life in the process of evolution there is at every important point at every crucial stage a special incarnation there is the appearance of the avatar it is a special descent to take things forward he comes from age to age you gay you gay he comes to establish newer dimensions in this world newer spiritual dimensions in this world newer aspects of the spirit he brings when he comes here now again the avatar has come he has come now with his transcendental power the shakti he has come to bring her down she is the divine power that by what stands in the way is removed by her the obstacle in the way is that his presence the presence and existence of death means the reign of falsehood all falsehood arises because of death things will therefore always go wrong as long as death is present death has to disappear if there should reign truth if there should be the rule of truth in this creation falsehood and truth cannot coexist they cannot go together there cannot be true harmony in this creation as long as falsehood is present when can that death disappear but it is a task the removal of death that task is a task of the transcendental mahashakti or the supreme consciousness for it is she who has to remove death but it has to happen in the mortal world for that to happen she must take mortal birth how does she take mortal birth does she take it of her own will or voluntarily but this birth of hers has to be compelled she does not come of her own she has to be compelled to take this mortal birth she must be compelled to take this birth in order to remove the obstacle that stands in the way death stopping the progress of this creation further but who can bring down that mahashakti here it is only the avatar who can compel a mortal birth this supramental creation upon us has to be a change all the way down to the physical it is not only in the mental in the vital it has to be down in the physical it is that which can make possible not only the inner but external manifestation not only the inner but external manifestation also the embodiment of the divine as avatar is therefore imperative avatar is necessary when a special work is to be done next normal course of evolution is not shooting into the absolute not shooting into the absolute the way the buddha did the way shankara did the way to change the normal course of evolution is by the presence of supermind 
super mind taking charge of things here. There are two aspects of the avatar. He is divine consciousness. Fundamentally, he is the divine consciousness. He has, at the same time, the instrumental personality, a personality in nature under the conditions of nature. He has to work here in the conditions of nature. Unless he accepts that personality in the conditions of nature, the conditions of nature cannot be changed. He accepts the rules of the game to change the rules of the game. He is truth above and down below. He is Leela, the play in the multiplicity. He is the participant in this Leela, that the Leela here becomes the divine Leela, the joy and truth and love as an aspect of this play, this Leela. If he is the divine consciousness, then by what mechanism, through what process, does this human body and mind become acceptable to him? How he houses in them, in the human body and human mind? How he enters into the process of nature? One who is conditionless, how does he accept conditions? By what process? By what mechanism? The avatar's birth is at once the soul birth and the attendant physical birth. Both of them are together. The soul birth and the physical birth, they happen simultaneously. The divine does not take a prepared body for his incarnation. He does not enter into it. He does not possess it. He does not occupy it. It is not invaded, it is not abrogate, does not take possession of a prepared body. The incarnating soul determines the body which he is going to take. It is that incarnating soul itself who determines what kind of body he must have to take birth. He prepares it. The soul prepares its own body. Body is prepared by the soul, by Jiva. And it is assumed, that body is assumed from birth by the Godhead. In the moment of birth, that body is assumed by the Godhead. It could also be that the body of the avatar is prepared by one of the four manus, Chatvaro Manavaha. Either the body is prepared by the jiva, by the incarnating soul, and assumed from birth by the Godhead, or else the body of the avatar is prepared with the manu for the age.